I'm in my car. I'm on my way to a very exciting location. It is a hot, hot and sticky day here in California. So I am easy breezy, headed off for a fun day of thrifting. I'm so excited because Savers, one of my favorite thrift stores, has recently reopened. They've been closed for a very long time and they've just reopened. And so I decided on this hot, sticky summer afternoon that I needed to do a little bit of thrift therapy. I am going to go to Savers and today is going to be about shopping the entire store. I don't know if I've really ever done this in a video where it was not just about the clothes, but it's going to be about all of the sections. I'm in a little bit of a home decor mood right now. I'm hunting for, you know, little knickknacks, pieces of art, even fabrics, upholstery. I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to keep my whole mind open to whatever lies inside the doors of Savers Thrift Store. Let's go find out what's at the store and I'll catch you at Savers. Found this little painting. I love anything that feels or is hand painted. You can see the little details. I like the little birds in it. And I need smaller pieces of art because I have a lot of big pieces of art. I think this is really pretty. I don't know if I'll take it home, but I don't know. It's pretty cool. I'm going to put it in my cart. I also love this piece of glass. Love this little piece of mid century sculpture. I have noticed whenever I'm looking for housewares that sometimes I have to look a few times because I, there's so many things on the shelves that I don't notice everything at first and the, the second and third glance is when I actually start to notice things. So I think sometimes it just takes the time and dedication to really look. I think this box is really cool. It almost looks like a Gucci piece of fabric on here and it's actually a jewelry box. Which I think is really neat. I don't know if I have any where to put this, but it's pretty cool. This is a really cool piece of sculpture art. I don't think this is actually vintage. I think it's probably a replica of an old vintage piece, but I still really like it. I don't know why, but vintage technology really makes me happy. I don't buy it, but this old Atari set and even an old alarm clock with the radio like I don't know it just brings back so many good memories from my life. I'm over in um, fabrics and I found these vintage aprons. I love these. I turned one into a dress and I don't know I could do it again. There's this one. Also that one. They're just so much fun. I have looked through all the housewares and decor and everything, and now I'm gonna head into clothes. I am in skirts. I found two. It's like a really pretty high waist midi length. And then this is like the sheer floral midi length skirt. And also this creamy white twirly skirt. Spotted this skirt. I like that it's a black and white print that I can play with some mixing prints and it's more of a midi length which I also like. This is a maybe. Pant section. For some reason I keep finding black and white prints and very silky loungy pants. And then this one as well. Just more easy breezy kind of doing PJ dressing with both of those pieces. Hopped over to dresses and I just spotted this little dress. I think somebody hemmed it and I remember doing this a lot when I first started thrifting, and I still kind of like it. It looks very short, so I don't know, but it is really cute, the little detail on the collar and the color, and it's like a little short dress. Same nostalgic vibes for my first years of thrifting when you chop them and make them short. I don't know if you guys remember also, if you went to any flea markets, Back in the early 2000s, that was what you'd find a lot. It's like a vintage dress shortened. That was definitely the thing. I'm such a sucker for like a house dress, a muumu. It just feels so nice in the summer to just throw on when you're running around the house. I actually like this print. It's really lightweight. I'm in the suits and sets. And I did find this. I don't know. It could be really fun, styled up, right? big gaudy gold belt or something. Laura Ashley. 
dress, maybe. Definitely getting in the fall mood. Store is actually closing soon, so I feel like I need to start looking through what I have and making decisions. I don't know if I'm gonna get all the clothes. I really kind of wanted to focus more on the housewares. <laughs> time ever. I didn't love any of the clothes. I looked through everything. I also feel like I've gotten so much lately that I don't just want to bring home whatever. No, I was just kind of unimpressed with what I found with the clothes. Now I'm excited about a few of the home finds. I feel like I'm letting you guys down because I didn't find any clothes and I literally have looked through the entire store. I'm trying. I'm actually looking again. I'm looking again but I don't see anything. Well, first time for everything. That was quite disappointing. I didn't think anything was super special, so nothing from my first time to save us. I wasn't satisfied. I felt so disappointed yesterday. So we are off for another day and we're gonna hit up, we're gonna hit up a Goodwill today. And I have been having crazy good luck there. So I am hoping we're gonna have some more crazy good luck. Let's do this round two. Even if it's just a few things, I feel like I need a little redemption. I've already had so much more luck with things that I'm really excited about. I just popped into the skirt section and already found a few goodies cute little black and white print skirt. I think this would be really cute for some print mixing. Love a Carol Little moment. And I found this really pretty pink twirly Carol Little skirt. Cool purple print skirt. And then my favorite is actually this knit skirt. I feel like this is going to be big for fall knit. Love the ribbing on the bottom and then the black and red detail of it. This is so cute. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been hitting the dress jackpot. I have so many dresses. I want to show all of them to you. We am still in the mood for summer, but I spotted this really cute, look at this, like the decals of these straps here, and then it's long. This is probably the most amazing dress that I don't think it's gonna fit me. It's so tiny, but I just have to show you guys. Strapless. It's got a bow on the back, but it looks so tiny. I don't think there's any way it's going to fit. I actually thought this was cool. I loved the color and the draping, and I think this could be a really cool piece to use for layering. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna it out. This is from Target. Too big, but I think it could be really cool. It's almost like a nightgown dress. And then I found some really amazing vintage dresses. This purple kind of 70s dress. It has these beautiful flowers on the bottom. I really love this dress. the crinkly fabric and I love the blue and it's kind of sheer. This is this amazing 70s dress and it's got these like sash on it. Stained, but it's just kind of a cute little cover up. This is a really interesting Moo Moo dress. I love the print on it in all of the colors. This actually has a crinoline in the skirt, so it's very flouncy and fun, and it's such a fun fall floral. It's really cute. I'm excited about this dress the most just because it feels like something very wearable, something I'm into right now. And it's just this beautiful print, midi length dress. It was all just in the dress section. I, at this point, Goodwill, you're winning. You're winning big time. Okay, just spotted this 70s little blouse sheer. I love the little print on it. This one too, so cute. I love the flower detail. <laughs> you guys, this is crazy. Like, I'm just kind of in shock because of how bad yesterday was. Look at this. It's like this coat thing with this amazing sleeves. Let's belt this baby. I mean, the colors. Ugh. 
a Y2K moment that I'm kind of down for. This is old Forever 21. Very much like the shirt I'm wearing. I found this orange version that's super cute. And I've been really into these just little short sleeve button downs right now. So my cart is so full. And I'm just gonna show you guys uh, the dresses in the mirror so you can see them a little bit better. I can't try anything on and I need to decide what to do here. Also just found this cute little robe. I love the colors. Yes, this is 100% coming home with me. Oh, the two blouses, this one and this one, kind of similar, I mean, different styles, but definitely like similar shades of color. This is really cute, but it has a lot of stains on it, so I'm going to pass. This is just so unique. The print, the colors, throw on a belt and make this more of a evening dress. This is so gorgeous. But it's gonna be hard to bring home just because I don't know when I'll get to wear this. And then also, just I'm trying to not buy everything today. Ugh, so hard though, it's such a pretty color. So pretty but it feels very heavy. And I just don't know if, I mean, there's so many other things I want to bring home. So I think I'm going to pass on this, even though if this is probably November, I'd want to buy it. I really love this dress. I just think that it almost looks like a waterfall. I love the crinkly fabric. It's really lightweight, even kind of has some sheer detail to it. And I feel like it's something I can wear now and also later. I'm trying to cut dresses. This is so pretty. I love the big flowers on the bottom. Cinch it in. And then this is the dress from Target and this is what happens. Once I pull out a bunch of vintage dresses, stuff like this just isn't as appealing to me anymore. So this is a no. This is cool, but again, I feel like I have so many other unique pieces. I'm not gonna take this home because it's so small, but I have to show you guys how cute this is this dress. It's just so chic, so fab. It's fun, but I think I'm gonna pass on this as well. This was my favorite one that I found when I first started and I really do love it. I think I'm gonna get this. I love how it buttons all the way down the front. It's really cute. Look at with these shoes, that's cute too. I think I'm gonna bring this home just because I like the option of having a black and white print to do mixing prints with and it's just like a cute little flirty skirt. I love this skirt. I think it's gonna be a maybe just because I'm collecting so many things right now. Now that I'm holding this, I think the other pink skirt just doesn't compare to the colors and the prints in this one. And I love this skirt. So cute. I'm considering these two, and I'm actually gonna pass on this one just because I bought something similar earlier this summer. And then I'm just trying to weed things out, so I don't think I'm gonna bring home either, actually. So I'm gonna put those away. And here we have the things that are on my probably yes coming home. So the purple skirt. I just like the option of this in my closet. It feels like an easy piece to have. I love this dress, so I think yes. <sighs> okay, so the two I think that I'm just not sure about are bringing home this dress with the purple on the bottom. It's very cute, but I just feel like I have so many things I'm trying to weed things out. I think I'm gonna pass on this one. <sighs> Do I bring home this dress? The other one that I'm a little hung up on. It's so pretty. I don't know. I just don't know. What do I do with this? This is a yes because it's so much fun. This is a yes. Also a yes just because I think it's, I love a good house dress. Okay, all my happy finds. Purple skirt, purple print dress, fun abstract print dress, house dress. This really amazing piece is my favorite. Also this really cute knit, and then the black and white skirt. My goodies that are coming home. Doesn't that look like such a fun little group? It's like a party right there. Ooh! That was redemption. If I've ever experienced a thrifting redemption moment, today was that day. And I am so happy with everything that I am bringing home. You guys saw all the choices that I decided to bring home. I will show you really quick right here the few little things that I decided to bring home from Savers that were for my house and you can see where I put them. Welcome to my entryway and my piece from Savers ended up right there. 
Here is my fireplace, and as you can see, I added the tailbow mid-century piece right here. And then finally, a piece of art that I found at Savers ended up right here, and I liked putting it off to the center right there. I imagine maybe even finding something smaller to go right there. But just collecting one by one little pieces for my home. So those were the things I decided to bring home from Savers. I did not bring home one item of clothing. I wasn't excited about anything that I found yesterday, but I sure am excited about all the things I found today at the Goodwill. You got to see home decor and you got to see some clothing finds. We had so much fun. <laughs> doing two days of thrifting for you. Definitely stay tuned on my Instagram and in the following videos to see how I style up all of those finds from today. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite find was and if you've ever had that happen where you've had just a, such a bummer of a day and then you have a totally redeeming day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I have new videos every single Thursday and always play dress up. Bye!